Hello everyone and welcome back to this Let's Play series of Assassin's Creed Origins. My name is Winters and you are very welcome. Uh, we are continuing on from where we left off. We're on to main story quests. We're doing Blood in the Water. It has led us to this region here, out in Thebes. Um, and uh, I've uh, cleared the enemy. This is, uh, basically we're doing an investigation. Um, Someone so, is using yeah. the orb. A pharaoh. Looks like there's about three or four things that we have to investigate here. Uh, is there a secret way out? Secret way, secret way. Aha! Alright, I was going to light the torch, but screw it. Here's our next one. People worshipping the relic. Priests of Ahenaten. But the rays are missing. Right, let's see if this leads anywhere else. Looks like there's a breakable door there. Uh, we'll come back to that uh, in a minute. Where did I see? Here. There we go, and yep, leads into the same area. Okay. Here's another one. That'll be three altogether, with one remaining. A moon. Is this connected to the ritual? Okay, one left. Where are you? It's up here somewhere. Okay. <clears throat> ah, there it is. The descendants that Tahemet spoke of. A woman holds the relic aloft. The wife of the Aten, Nefertiti. Did it hold any real power then? Or was it just symbolic? They bring the descendants of Ramesses forward, but the ritual, it is not to the goddess of truth but dedicated to another god, the twin plumes of Amun. The ritual restores Ma'at to everything under the sky, in honor of the Lord of Thebes and the god's wife at his side. The priests have the relic. She has been lying to me from the beginning. Dum dum dum. Isidora. She brought down the Pharaoh's curse, tried to justify it to me. Isidora's argument with Tahamet. Could her own mother be buried here? Learn more about the priesthood of Amun investigation in progress. Aha. Merti left offerings. Yeah, let's just fast track The priests stuff. of Amun were held in high regard. An inscription. Isidora's mother sits at the right. And one more. Hello. The tomb robbers murdered Nitokris when she tried to stop them ransacking the tombs. Zidora had to bury her mother. The orb and her mother's legacy was passed to her. She vowed to revenge her, but she never had the means until now. Then years later, Merti came to try and make amends for what the others did. 
the true source of the curse. A girl who lost her mother, begging the gods for vengeance. Hmm, that was an easy mission. So, alright, let's see what's next. Uh, Curse of the Pharaohs, I guess. Um, we'll have a look at the map. We're going up to Thebes, it seems. Find and assassinate Isidora. That is our current objective. a little bit higher first before we call in Sanu. The relic corrupts absolutely. Isidora cannot believe this is the will of the gods. Okay, now we'll call in Sanu. Priestess has summoned the army of Anubis to protect her. <laughs> the relic. It is twisting what I see. I must find her. Reach Isidora's quarters. And of course, there's a bunch of bad guys in the way. Worms hey, can have you. You'll regret that. Locked. 
Whatever her reasons for doing this, they must be behind this door. Is there an alternative way in? Yep, up there. <clears throat> As the wife of the Hidden One, she would keep her secrets close. She could. She means to finish what her mother started. A ritual to restore my art in the hidden tomb of the long forgotten Pharaoh. Right. See so if we can fast travel to the next location. Wherever that may be. It's up here. Aha. Okay. Um, there, we'll take this fast travel. way for us to call in our horse get there just a little bit quicker clear off now explain yourself I must be careful now fine now whoa Through. There's no breakable walls, so I must be in the wrong temple. <coughs> Can't get in there. Yeah, I must be in the wrong temple. Okay, no problem. Hey! Nah. If I remember correctly, there's a back entrance here into one of the temples. Looks like this is where we're meant to be, yep. I know what it is like to lose someone you love. But this orb corrupts everything it touches. Okay. 
Get off there. The Apple of Eden. You stop me like common prey now. Bayek. Give me the orb. I do not want to kill you. My mother told me this is our role. To restore Ma'at and put Amun back on his throne. This is why I was born. This is why to hide and watch as they slit your throat. So I would have the strength to do Amun's will. This is not strength. This is savagery. This must end, Isidora. You betrayed the moon, our people, your duty. I will not betray mine. Another major boss fight. on a moon.
bitch. Yes. Well, got you in the first goal. That's brilliant. I do have to admit that previous hard boss that we had definitely prepped me for this one. I feel a lot more confident going into the fight at the beginning. His father, Achenaten, passed down the orb. Tutankhamun wanted to restore balance, entrusted it to the priests of Amun. But Isidora distorted the ritual in the name of vengeance. She betrayed her own gods. Leave the Duas. The Ren will guide the way. Okay. Back to the glowy, starry thing. <laughs> Man, it's really taking me on the scenic route, huh? Are you prideful, arrogant, a liar in the house of Anubis? You think yourself a judge? Decide their fate when yours is fettered. <gasps> a 
someone chose you? I do not understand. This was my birthright. My revenge. Why did he hear my cry? Why did he give me the power to finish what she started? Only for me to fail. Amun never gave you power. He gave you a choice. The feather has my heart. No! My heart is too heavy. Do you believe Amun will protect me? As easy as it is to do wrong, it is easy for Amun to be merciful. His breath passes any moment. His breath comes back in mercy. May the Hidden One walk with you. The Lord of the Duat awaits. Put me down. Put me down. Uh, I think I can manage on my own. Can you? Uh, I once thought I had no one left in the world. Now I am a descendant of Ramesses the Great. And I have a family bigger than I could have imagined. Uh, small price to pay. Thank you, Neb. What will you do now with that horror? By Ra's light, I do not want it. All the more reason you should take it. You better than anyone knows what it can do. Bury it, and all memory of it. All right, but not here. There are no secrets left in this valley. Ah, there must be one more, Sen. You restore Ma'at, then leave? If that is what you want, then no one will hear of you from me. Hey! Bayek! We will meet again in the field of reeds. I will see to it. That is all right. We do not need any help. We will close all of this up in a moment. <sighs> Curse of the Pharaoh is complete. Challenge is complete. Fantastic. Okay, let's see. Uh, that's it, really. If I remember right, though, there's yet yeah, one mission there, a side quest, and there's another one here. So we'll probably do both of those in our next episode, and that will be it for the series, or, or at least until um, a new DLC comes out. Uh, so, yeah, I guess we'll leave it there for now. Thanks a million for watching, folks. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And as always, please subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. My name is Winters. I'll catch you next time. Until then, take care.